I'm on top of the mountain. It's called a straw mountain. Take a look at this. I haven't climbed, but I will at, at some point. But right now, I'm going to be talking to my two new friends, Gia and Gus. Gia, how you doing? <laughs> That's Gia's mom, Ashley. Hi. Ashley, why is Gia so quiet today? Is she not having fun? No, no fun at all. She okay, we, we, <laughs> Ashley, we promise we're going to find you something fun to do. I promise you. <laughs> so, which has been the best experience so far for you, Ashley, over here? Oh, just getting uh, to be able to spend time with our family. Uh -huh. um, we're all local to the area, so we came out to see the, the new Blakes. Uh, we've it. been to Irwin's before. Okay. And so we're excited to see the new changes and everything. Brilliant. And speaking of family, I got a family member over here. Abby. Hi. Gus's mom. Gus, how you doing, buddy? You say hi. <laughs> He's just busy enjoying hi. the view, right? <laughs> yes. Loving the tractors. Loving the tractors? Yes. What's been your favorite part? Um, you know the donuts are pretty great. Tell me about it. <laughs> I feel like in food is usually the best part of most things. It is, isn't it, right? <laughs> All right, well, so just like that, ugh, Jen, there's so much to do over here. And that's why I got Carol, who's going to be letting us, giving us the lay of the land. What can people do when they come over here? Okay, well, there's, of course, a straw mountain. Uh, uh -huh. seems that's to be a favorite. It seems like kids love to climb that. Even the parents get up there, too. Right. Then we have um, the Tyke Trail. Okay. There's these little bicycles that they would go around with the uh, around the tires. Uh -huh. And then we have this uh, these bouncy houses, of course. And then there's this Velcro hatchet throwing things that's what's very popular okay uh, so that's the newest thing and i see kids and then I love the tractors yeah the kids love them these are really very old-fashioned tractors they said you know with these wire wheels that's a very old-fashioned right. right and there's also one inside the uh, merchandise uh, barn i think too as well. now none of these elements were here before this is the first no, time that's correct i, I think okay. uh, when it used to be uh, or when they occasionally would have the bouncy houses for special occasions but i right. believe they're going to have this every weekend it'll be something special and they can buy a wristband and they can go on all the activities or they can pay separately we also have a corn maze Ooh, uh, where's that that it's out in the orchard i'd have to you'd have to walk down there but it's okay they, it's always with a different pattern and this year they have the, the blake logo it looks like a looks like a, a farmer i guess and if with a drone you can actually see the pattern of it uh, it's really pretty cool. I'm um, loving it. Everybody and, likes it. And the bouncing and the bouncy, bouncy castle. Can adults go in there? Or it's only for kids. It's for kids. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. If, even if you're a kid at heart, would that oh, count? Absolutely. Why not? <laughs> Why not? We we just look the other way. That's all right. If you can, especially with real little ones, sometimes we do ask a parent to go in there if they put these real little ones in. You know, like a year and a half. Year all right. Child. Real quick before we go, till what time is it open till? Till six o'clock. Six o'clock. Yeah. yeah Brilliant. Um, Today and tomorrow. Yes. Carol, thank you so much. Jen, you heard it live on air. If you're a kid at heart and you can squeeze in there, you can get onto the bouncy castle, all right? Jen, I expect to see you in there. I'm going to be in there while eating a donut. 